Hey, I'm Emma Garlett and welcome to Paint It Black. This week, I spoke to the hardworking lawyers and the people running the show at the Aboriginal Legal Service of Western Australia. Join me as I paint it black. Aboriginal people are the most incarcerated people in Australia. We are only 3% of the population, yet we make up 32% of the Australian prison population. The rates of Aboriginal people in prison are increasing, along with the number of Aboriginal youth in Banksia Hill. Crime in our communities is rampant. Why is this the case? I wanted to find out. So who better to talk to than the lawyers who defend Aboriginal people from all over Western Australia, the Aboriginal Legal Service? They work hard to ensure every Aboriginal person has access to a lawyer when they need it, especially if they are in police custody. They make access to a lawyer simple. Their head office is in East Perth. They are in amongst all the action in the city and combined with their 12 country office locations from Albany to the Kimberley, it's fair to say they have a big job. They work with the Western Australian Police and ensure every Aboriginal person in the care of police has the opportunity to speak to a lawyer about their matter through the Custody Notification Service. This isn't all they do. They provide a wide scope of legal services to holistically help Aboriginal clients. The effect that we can have by providing our service, uh, particularly being a culturally appropriate service and understanding the needs of community, I think that really does set us apart and they have a large number of people working together to achieve outcomes for Aboriginal people. We've got about 170 staff, um, and that's admin, lawyers, um, court officers. And you only need to look at their honour board to see the commitment from their leaders over many years. Banksia Hill and youth detention is a key area that needs reform. Imagine being locked in a tiny cell all day uh, without access to other people to talk to. And recently, the work of the Aboriginal Legal Service has resulted in a significant win in the Supreme Court for kids in Banksia Hill. The judge ruled that there were over 150 days unlawful lockdowns and the judge also made an injunction, meaning that the superintendent can't lock down Aboriginal children um, in their cells unlawfully. Justice Tottle described the situation as a systemic failure and said things needed to change. They need to have the appropriate staffing. So all of this is caused by staffing shortages. It's not caused by the children. I think we need to be very clear about that. And the staff need to be trained properly. They need to be trained to be able to work with kids who've got disabilities, um, kids who've got cognitive development impairments, and Aboriginal kids who've got connection to country that may be thousands of kilometres away. It felt like a, a David and Goliath moment because our team uh, are, are, are super committed to what they're doing, but they're also very talented. Um, and the result was a proof of that. Um, so that was pretty, I felt really proud about our business being able to support young kids in detention. Despite these outcomes, there is still a raft of issues which needs to be addressed. The use of police dogs on Aboriginal people and children is unacceptable. Yes, yeah, so the Aboriginal Legal Service has represented over 40 people um, who have been mauled by police dogs. And of those 40, 14 have been under 18, including a nine-year-old boy. And some of those injuries have been horrific dog bites to the face, to the arms, to the neck, with severe ongoing nerve damage and ongoing psychological damage. It's not just criminal matters that ALS help with, they also have a civil law unit. Quite a large number of Aboriginal people will die without a will, um, and which causes all sorts of problems. The biggest problem with it is any property that they have or um, can be tied up and probate for quite a few years, which is not what you want. The family have got an urgent need, particularly when it comes to burying somebody and they may need access to funding. The lawyers here want to make a difference. All the lawyers that work here have a great deal of empathy for um, the personal circumstances of the people that they're dealing with. We need to make sure that Aboriginal legal service are supported in any way possible. We need to change the trajectory for Aboriginal people. No child should be in prison. Thanks for watching Paint It Black with me, Emma Garlett. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode.